What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp plugin tutorial for you. So we're gonna create kind of a hexagonal star shape and then we're gonna use uh, Fredo Scale's radial bend tool to just kind of see what we can do with that. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So first thing we gotta do is draw our kind of 3D star shape. And to do that, we're gonna use the circle tool. So you can go ahead and de delete out the default model in here. But first thing we're gonna do is draw a six sided circle. And to do that, you're just gonna tap the C key to activate the circle tool. Tool. Then you're just going to hit the number 6 and hit the enter key. And if you look down in the corner, you can see that that changed your number of sides to 6. So now when you draw a shape over here, it's going to draw a six-sided circle or a hexagon. So, and we're going to come in here and we'll give, a ra we'll give it a radius of 3 feet. Um, that doesn't really matter at this point. But the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to split this up into triangles by drawing lines across the face like this. So each one of these is now a separate face. And we may actually come in here and delete out some of these, but for now we'll go ahead and just kind of do this this way. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to basically use the tape measure tool to draw a guide from this corner to the midpoint of this line, and then a guide from this corner to the midpoint of this line. And basically what we're doing is we're finding the center of our triangle. And then once we find the center of our triangle, we're going to come in here and we're going to use the line tool to draw a line down about six inches, just like this. And so actually we're going to come in here and we're going to delete out the rest of our hexagon right now and our guides and also this face so that all we have now is we just have this line and we have the edges of our triangle right here. And the reason we're doing that is because now we're going to come in here and we're going to draw lines from each corner down to this point right here. And you can see what that does is that creates kind of a recessed uh, three triangle type shape. And then once we've done that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna select it just like this. You're gonna activate the rotate tool by hitting the Q key. And then uh, just move your mouse over the origin right here so that this is blue. And then click once to activate the rotate tool. And then now you're gonna select this corner point just like this. And you see how if I just move my mouse, it's just kind of moving this in a circle. Well, if I tap the control key, that'll turn that'll turn copy mode on. So this will come in here and it'll create copies. So you want to click on this corner and then this corner so that I make a copy right here. And then you want to type in X5 and hit the enter key. And basically what we just did is we just told SketchUp to create five copies of this, each one spaced um, at that number of degrees from our center point. And so what that does is that creates this hexagonal star shape just like this. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here, we're gonna select this, we're gonna right click on it and we're gonna make it a component. And we'll just call it star piece one. And we're just gonna come in here and we're just gonna make some copies of it. So, and basically I'm using the move tool to make copies of it just like this. So I tap the M key, and then I click on this corner and then I tap the control key to turn copy mode on. And basically what we're doing is we're coming in here and we're gonna make kind of a continuous shape. So, all right, so now I've got three pieces in here just like this. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off and I'm gonna make a copy of this piece right here. So I'm gonna use the move tool in copy mode and I'm just going to move a copy right here. So activate the move tool, click on this corner point, and then tap the control key to turn copy mode in. And then once I click to set this one, I'm gonna type in X5 again, just like this. And so what I've got is I've got a series of these stars running all the way down this face right now. So now what I'm gonna do is, if you remember we made this a component, so that anytime we adjusted one of these pieces, all of the pieces would adjust. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm actually gonna make this piece a unique piece. So I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna click make unique. And the reason that I'm gonna do that is I'm actually gonna come in here and I'm actually gonna cut this piece off. So I'm going to draw a line from this point to the midpoint on both of these pieces just like this. And I'm actually gonna come in here and I'm gonna erase these out using the erase tool. And the reason for that is now I'm gonna come in here and do the same thing. I'm gonna make a series of copies so I'm gonna make that copy and then I'm gonna type in times five or times four, just like that. And I'm actually gonna erase this piece out. Well now, if I take these pieces and I move them across and then I kind of flip them using the scale tool and then I move them back so that they're kind of lined up. 
Well, now what's going to happen is I've got this shape, and if I make copies of it across right here, it's going to line up perfectly. So I can basically extend this as far as I want to. So I could type in times five over here, and I would just have a ton of these basically hexagonal star shapes in here just like this. So the whole point is making this so that I can repeat this over and over and make my shapes line up the way that I want them to line up. And so the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to take these two pieces. I'm actually going to erase this piece, but I'm going to make this one unique as well. So I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to click make unique. And then for this one, all I can do is just erase this out because it'll already have this kind of like straight line across here. Then I'm gonna click out of that component and I'm gonna make another copy of that one over here and I'm gonna flip that using the scale tool. And then I'm gonna move it back just like this. So now I've got this piece that's completely repeatable. So if I come in here and I make this a group I could probably make it a component as well, but I could basically repeat this as far as I wanted to and the shape would continue kind of seamlessly. So, so now that I've got this set up so it's kind of repeatable, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use Fredo Scale's Radial Bend Tool I'm in order to bend this um, into the shape that we want. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save my model because anytime you start bending geometry, um, it, it can get a little bit unstable. So you wanna make sure you save before you do anything like this. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and stand this up using the rotate tool. And this is a completely optional step. You totally don't have to do this. This is just kind of how I like to set things up. I like to kind of stand them up. Um, and bend them that way. It's just kind of the way my brain works, but it, there's really no logical reason for it. So you can totally skip this step if you want to. But I also like to have things sitting on the origin point because that's a great thing to kind of inference to. So anyway, what I did is I came in here and I just kind of stood this up using, so that now my hexagonal shape is uh, standing along the red axis. And uh, there's a couple different things I could do in here. I could probably come in here with uh, an extension like Shape Bender or something like that and bend this along a curve as well. But for right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to activate Fredo Scale. And Fredo Scale is something you can download from the Sketchication Warehouse, but it has a ton of different tools for being able to kind of bend geometry. But the one in particular I'm interested in is the one on the end here called Fredo Scale or uh, called Radial Bend. So, and basically what Radial Bend does is it allows you to uh, basically tell SketchUp to bend an object along a radius. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move my mouse up to this corner just like this and I'm gonna tap the up key. When you tap the up key, it locks, it locks your active tool to the blue axis and that's what I want because I wanna bend this along this axis just like this. But I'm gonna go ahead and put my mouse over this corner right here and I'm gonna click once. It's gonna ask me for a reference direction. So that's basically saying which way do you wanna start. So I'm gonna move my mouse down to this end right here and then it's asking for a target point. So if I wanted to bend like half of this, I would give it um, a target point right here but I wanna bend the whole thing so I'm gonna move my mouse over this point right here. And then you see how it says pick rotation angle? Well now if I come in here and I move my mouse just like this, it'll let me bend this anywhere up to 180 degrees. And so in this case, I'm actually gonna type in 180 degrees and hit the enter key. And so you can see how what that did is that bent this 180 degrees just like this, so that this basically follows along an arc. So if I was to draw an arc along these two points, SketchUp would tell me it's a perfect half circle, just like this. And so now what you've got is you've got this shape in here um, that kind of follows that curve that we dictated for it. And you kind of want to come in here and you want to double check because sometimes this can create a little extra geometry in here. It looks like this was pretty clean this time. But basically what you're going to do is now you're going to select this and you can go ahead and make it a component if you want to um, because you are going to be repeating it. It doesn't really matter in this case, but I'll call this half arc. And then I'm going to use the move tool to make a copy just like this. And then I'm going to use the scale tool to flip it 180 degrees. And then I'm going to move this piece back. And so now you can tell why it was so important for these edges to kind of line up just like this. 
um, because now I can take this and I can basically just um, I can basically just repeat this over and over again. So now I can kind of group this if I want to, then use the move tool to create as many copies of it as I want to. So if I do that, I can type n times five, create a whole bunch of copies just like this. And you can see how now I've got this kind of repeating hexagonal shape that I can basically do whatever I want with now. So that's why it's important to kind of plan ahead when you're making your original geometry because then everything will kind of line up and everything will work pretty much the way that you want it to work. So that's where I'm gonna to end today's video. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. Did you like this? Have you been using uh, Radial Bend? This is probably one of my favorite extensions in SketchUp uh, just because of some of the cool stuff you can do with it. Um, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. Uh, if you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. Um, if you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. That just helps me keep bringing you great SketchUp content. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.